On today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we are looking at the wind resistance for the DJI Air 3S. What's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company. Check them out online at thedroningcompany.com, across all major social media platforms, and check out their YouTube channel as well. Make sure you get subscribed if you haven't already. And there's going to be a lot of great content there for you, including content made by yours truly, Sam Carp, Tim Brazell, and many other friends of The Drone Geek, The Droning Company at thedroningcompany.com and across all major social media platforms. Gonna level with you here. My schedule caught up to me. The last couple weeks have been crazy once again. It's good craziness. It's good busyness. I'm having a lot of fun, flying a lot of drones, meeting a lot of people. It's just been very difficult to keep the content flowing. Part of that has to do with my laptop situation, which I'll be happy to announce is actually changing. I've got myself a better laptop on the way. So doing content on the road is going to get a whole lot easier. I won't have any excuses not to do it. But I'm back in the office for at least the remainder of the year, I hope. <laughs> and uh, I've had the opportunity to take the Air 3S out as well as a few other drones that I've got reviews for coming down the pipeline to actually see what they're made of when it comes to the spec sheets that come with them. We've already done a few tests with the Air 3S. Today, we we're looking at the wind resistance of the Air 3S. Now, once again, full disclosure, I already tried to film this video once before. I was actually out in the field. I had chosen a day in north central Pennsylvania that had wind speeds anywhere between 22 miles per hour and 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 37 miles per hour per hour. So not putting the drone in a position to fail, but certainly testing its metal. And that's exactly what I wanted to see with the Air 3S. How did it stand up against the spec that was issued by DJI? We've already done a few tests with the Air 3S, so I was really excited to see the wind resistance test. The problem with that was, as great as that video would have been, I did not take just an extra second to look at my camera settings on my Sony FX30. And unfortunately, somehow, some way, it got bumped into S and Q mode, which basically made the footage unusable. So I'm just gonna do my best to walk you through it. I haven't had any substantially windy days since then. Uh, so this is sort of what we have to do if we ever wanna get this video out. I tested the drone at three different altitudes, 200 feet, 300 feet, and 400 feet. I didn't start it at 100 just because I felt that the difference between 50 AGL and 100 AGL would have been somewhat negligible. Sure, there would be some differences in the wind speeds because of the lack of breakup on the airflow, but I felt in this area, which is very hilly and somewhat mountainous in areas, that 100 feet AGL just wouldn't be quite as daunting for the drone as it needed to be for this test. Hence why we're starting at 200 feet and then working our way up to 400 feet AGL. Now the results of this test surprised me a little bit. We do need to acknowledge that wind is a variable condition. It's not going to be the same from moment to moment. One moment, you may have very hard, strong gusts. The next moment, you may have absolutely no wind at all. And that's something we need to keep in mind as we look at the results of this test. But 200 feet AGL, gave the Air 3S the hardest challenge of the entire series. It seemed like the Air 3S had a very difficult time holding its position at 200 feet AGL. Now, we did have some stronger gusts happen during that time frame. It was pushing into the mid 30s throughout that entire series when it comes to the wind resistance on the Air 3S. But as you can see in this footage, it's definitely struggling to maintain position. Now, for a drone this size, I give it credit because it worked really hard to maintain position and it did maintain around a five foot radius or so. It might have bumped up to like six or seven feet here or there, but really it maintained a pretty close radius, especially when you're talking about open airspace flying. Now in a setting where you might be in more complex airspace, lots of obstacles around you, lots of things to avoid, this may be unacceptable. But for again, open airspace flying, this margin of error really isn't that bad. Especially when you consider, again, the wind gusts at this point were reaching upwards of 35 miles an hour or so. At 300 feet AGL, the drone actually did its best through the whole test. 
It held position almost perfectly. There was some variation in its position in 3D space, but overall, the Air 3S did a fantastic job of maintaining position at 300 feet AGL. Now, again, let's make a quick note. The wind speeds weren't quite as severe. The gusts certainly weren't anywhere close to the mid 30s and sustained wind speeds dropped down to about 15 miles per hour. So again, the drone still had to work to maintain position, but overall, it did a great job at 300 feet AGL. Now, relatively speaking and proportionately speaking, I'd say 400 feet AGL was probably the middle point in the testing for the Air 3S, somewhere between its performance at 200 feet AGL with those stronger wind gusts and 300 feet AGL where the wind was a little bit more mild. We did have some higher wind speeds. Gusts did not reach the mid 30s, but I would say they were pushing maybe the low 30s, around 30, 31 miles per hour. And sustained winds at that point were around 20 miles an hour so 400 feet AGL the Air 3S did a pretty good job all things considered again remember when you're at a higher altitude there's less interference with the airflow so there isn't anything breaking up the airflow the higher and higher you go in the airspace you don't have trees you don't have buildings you don't have any type of geological structure that would cause any type of interference in the airflow so you're going to get the wind at its strongest usually when you go higher and higher up. I think overall the Air 3S holds up to the spec on the sheet provided by DJI. 27 miles per hour is probably right on the money as far as what this drone can tolerate. And I would say that it's even capable of a little more than that before you have some sort of a catastrophic failure. I wouldn't be surprised if the Air 3S can handle wind speeds upwards of 35, maybe 40 miles an hour before you start to see truly degraded performance and to the point that it might even be dangerous to fly it. I'm not recommending you go out and fly it in the strongest winds that you can possibly find, but when it comes to the spec'd out rating of the DJI Air 3S, they got it right with this one. This is definitely a drone that can stand up to 27 mile an hour winds and for the size of the drone and the category in which it falls, that's pretty impressive. I'm really happy with the performance of this drone. Again, DJI's flight characteristics, flight experience is second to none in the market. And they continue to prove why by creating drones in smaller platforms that can live up to bigger expectations. Now, again, I know this isn't a perfect wind resistance test. Don't crucify me in the comments for it. I did my best. I just can't find any other days that really work as well as the day that I originally filmed this. My bad for not setting the camera settings correctly. I apologize. I'll make sure to check that and triple check it in the future. But I am curious to know what you think. Let me know down in the comments below. Did the Air 3S hold up to your expectations when it comes to wind resistance or would you like to see better wind resistance overall? Again, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon down below. It helps me out a lot. It helps get this video out into the algorithm to more viewers like yourself. If you really love this video and you love drone content shot by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, my friend, this is the channel for you. Make sure you get subscribed if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit Hit the bell icon too you'll get a notification every time i post a new video until next time i'm chris the drone geek and i'm out of here see ya yo yo what you say steady screaming